once again we give you all the praise and glory, faithful, mighty, awesome, wonderful God. What can we do without you? Alpha, Genesis, Omega, Revelation, and everything in between, Exodus to the book of Jude. We bless you. <laughs> Beautiful God. Thank you for what you're doing in our life, what you will do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Revelation of Jesus Christ nuggets. We're in verse, verse 9. I like to see how God has really uh, took us. I mean, all the way, I mean, this is almost, I don't know what the edition we are in, it should be 40 something, but then we're still on verse 9, and these are nuggets. We're not even going deeper into it, but we thank God. Thank God for testimonies, healings, and deliverances, and all the great news that we've had. And you know one thing, we don't need to make any uh, public announcement. We just want to give glory and dominion to God for that, because he did it by his word. You know, in verse 9 of chapter 1, John, our brother, said, I'm there for the word of God. And if I'm there for the word of God, testimony must erupt. I'm there for the word of God. And for this testimony of Jesus Christ, not of man, the testimony of Jesus Christ. I think we've had enough of that. Let me just read it. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, I like you to know that. We explain that I'm your brother. So don't think you are the only one going through tribulation. The one you have tribulation, be of good cheer, overcome the word. This is to overcome the word, even our faith. Faith in what I have done. And also in the kingdom. I'm not out of the kingdom. So don't think me being in the island of Patmos where uh, they, they, they put all, all prisoners and they are killing people. Hey, that's the kingdom. Bible says, a year old we suffer. All that we live, God in this life shall suffer. Tribulation said, We must through much tribulation, excuse me, act of the apostles. We much we must through much tribulation 14 enter the kingdom of God. We must through much tribulation enter the kingdom. So John entered the kingdom. Glory. John entered the kingdom through tribulation, through pressure. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the tribulation of the kingdom and the patience waiting for the result. He said, I'm here in the place of my killing, Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Ten, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. That's, 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 we need to get there. When is the Lord's day? Every day. We are in the day of the Lord and the Holy Spirit has to take over. We have entered the Lord's day. Man, I have had his own day. You've had your day. The day of man. The day of Adam, Adamos. But these are the days of the Lord. The day of revival, the day of reformation, the day of glory, the day of power. We are living in the days of this power. His people shall be willing. You will see people willing. You see God risen of dust. Many will be converted to Jesus Christ from the other religion, serving the Lord, knowing the Lord, dedicated to the Lord, and they'll be converted. When God raised up his sons to go, to pray, to give, to dedicate their entire life. We are in the day of the Lord. Be in the spirit. You can hear his voice if you are in the flesh. Don't just walk in the spirit. Live in the spirit. That's why you are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in the body. Be in the spirit. So you can hear what the spirit is saying to the church. So much carnality. So much soul. Mm. The nature of soul is too much. Every of flesh, a life, fat, seated there. Be in the spirit. God is raising up priests like Samuel. You know, he's made us kings and priests. We make revelation, reference to that too. A small boy like Samuel. Eli was the one that prophesied his own replacement. He said, be it unto you according to Yo, according to the word of God, by this time next year, you're going to have a baby. And the baby was the one that would take his own place. Oh, I see. God raising up Samuel. I thank God because one of them is speaking to the glory of God. God raising up a David. God raising up John the Beloved. God raising up ultimately. That's my prayer. People like Jesus. Thank God for Moses. That say, I need to see your back part. I'm grateful, for, I'm grateful for that. Thank God for Elisha that say, I need double portion, but thank God for me. I don't need all of those. You know what I say? I want to be just like Jesus. 
I want to be his brother. And so what are we saying in essence? Be in the spirit. The word of God is caps. Oh, yes. He said there's no open vision. But there's a boy. There's a boy called somewhere. In the midst of the scarcity of the boy, the word came to somewhere. In Shiloh, God revealed himself to somewhere by his word. By his word. And I'm in the kingdom for the word. I am in the kingdom for the world. Somewhere. Somewhere. May you hear your name today. Be in the spirit all through this year, all through this month. Father, thank you. Thank you that we do not only walk in the spirit, we live in the spirit. Holy Spirit, take over. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.